Hi guys, Tommy Rowe here, Rowe Films. Hope you're all good. I recently produced a short film for Lumix and Atomos for the release of new firmware that opens up ProRes RAW to the BGH1 and Ninja 5. If you haven't seen it yet, do check it out. This is just a quick video to give you a brief rundown of how I went about color grading the footage. It was actually my first time using ProRes RAW. I had very high expectations and, and it didn't disappoint at all. But what I've done here is I've picked a, a handful of shots to show you basically how I went about grading. So let's get stuck in. So when it came to doing the color grading for the Kerno film, there are many ways to go about it. But for this one, I decided to approach it as I normally do as someone who predominantly works in Final Cut. I like to make my own LUTs in Photoshop. That's what I decided to do here. The tools that you have in Photoshop, you can really tweak your footage and, and nail your look. And then when you export it and apply it as a LUT onto your footage, it pretty much gets you 90% of the way there straight away. The tools I tend to use in Photoshop are hue, saturation, color balance, channel mixer, RGB curves. And sometimes I'll make more than one variation for different scenes or lighting conditions as needed really. But I can actually show you in Final Cut so first things first, we go into the settings here and you can see the amazing thing about ProRes RAW is you have the ability to change your ISO and your white balance. So they can be creative choices in post, which is what we want. I converted the RAW footage to log and then apply the camera LUT. So it made sense to do it this way because I'm so used to working with vlog footage. I've since seen that Panasonic have actually provided a LUT specifically for RAW. So I'll leave a link to that in the description because that one will probably do a better job at getting your levels where they need to be than the one that's provided here in Final Cut already. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use the wheels here to bring back some of that contrast and also just punch in a little bit more saturation there too. The next adjustment I tend to make is a curves adjustment just to bring some pop into the image. When I'm creating LUTs in Photoshop as I use like hue saturation curves to really dial in my colors and this is where you can get a sense of how amazing ProRes RAW is and, the, and that 12 bit. If you push it to the extremes, you can see the control here that you've got over colors and it's really quite remarkable how far you can push things. I'm just gonna give you a rough rundown of how I like to just tweak my colors. And then I'll probably just play with the saturation as well. And again, this is what I'd be doing in Photoshop. And then once I'm happy with my look, I would export that as a, as a cube LUT. The final secret source I always love to use is, is Film Convert. I just love the look and I love what it does with the colors. And often just going back and forth between all the tools. Once I've created my LUT, I apply it universally and then I only need to tweak each shot to taste. It works and it's a good way to get a consistent look when you're grading in a program like Final Cut. Moving on to the next shot here, we've just got a shot of our friend Mike. I apply my LUT, I called it RF Kerno. So straight away, the LUT that I made in Photoshop as soon as I apply that is like your 90% of the way there already. And then after that, I just apply a wheels and curves adjustment before the LUT, just so I can really tweak the colors and the tones. Here's another one. Raw to log conversion. This, in normal footage, could, could be clipped here, where the sun is. But you can just see, just pulling back on your highlights there, all of that detail is still there. It's just so amazing to have that information there. And then I can come in here and tweak my white balance, so I can really warm that up and give it that really golden hour, amazing look, or you can cool the footage down and bring back all of the blues like so. So the control you have over this footage is amazing and, and then my final adjustment again is just to, to add the film convert and being able to do all of this natively in Final Cut is fantastic too. I mean the footage when you see it, it just plays back so smoothly. And then the final shot, same thing goes. I've done the raw to log conversion, slap the LUT on and then as always I apply the wheels and the curves before the LUT so that it's affecting the footage before the LUT is applied to it. And again, loving having this temperature slider so that you can really choose, do I wanna bring the, that coolness back with the blues, it goes to look a little bit more blue hour, or you can really push the warmth 
and go for a mega sunset look. If we just come back, have one last quick look at what we've done here. So this is the this is the shot we did, the manual adjustments. That this was just to show you really how I go about making LUTs. I do that in Photoshop, but you know the tools are there to do it manually in Final Cut if you wanted to. Film convert just to bring in those lovely film-like colours. But for the kind of film I had the grain down to sort of 20% something like that and I find that just adds a little bit of texture to the image. It's an extremely subtle change but it just it's that finishing touch I find just to tie all of your footage together. So that's really how I went about colour grading the kernel footage. I'm looking forward to having a play working directly with the raw footage instead of doing the raw to vlog conversion. It's all about experimentation and I have lots of that to do now which is exciting. Yeah, so that's it. That's pretty much how I went about colour grading the footage in the Kerno film. As I said, if you've not seen the film, do check it out. And for more videos just like this, head on over to the Atomos Academy, where there's plenty more content for you to get your teeth stuck into. But that's it for me for this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again. Cheers.